What's going on guys? This is David here with Sheepdog Services in beautiful South Mississippi. Right now it's, uh, I think it's about 10 o'clock at night. Um, I'm on night shift. Wife and the baby's in the bed. So it's my time out in the, the shop or in the garage. As you can see, not only is it messy, but there's not a whole lot of light. And that's something I plan on addressing. Uh, all I have is that one light right there. And then you can turn on the garage light, but it's not really putting out a whole lot of, whole lot of, whole lot of light but uh i went on amazon and i found some uh lights that i plan on putting up they're supposed to be pretty easy to put up uh we're gonna find out tonight i'm gonna put them up and see how well they do um i'm wanting to light up that whole dark space back there because i got a lot of work that i want to do to the side by side and uh it's just it's really difficult trying to find light and get it back there and then also i've been working on my my uh, little workshop area right here my my working area, my work bench, my work table. I'm gonna get some other stuff up there, but I need to be able to see what I'm doing. And as you can see, it's kind of dark back there. All right, so y'all hang tight. I'm gonna show you what I got, and then uh, I'm gonna start installing it. All right. All right, guys, real quick. This here is what I'm using for for light right now. This is that uh little LED uh light. It's magnetic. Bam, right down there. That's what I'm using for light right now. Uh, I got this at Harbor Freight. It was uh. I got it on sale whenever back whenever they put it on sale for $19.99, but now it's I think if it goes on sale, it's on sale for I don't know, I'm not a harbor freight expert. Um so when I got the to fix my lighting problems, I got these Barina uh light fixtures. I got the four four foot ones. I got the uh five thousand lumens, sixty-five Kelvin, sixty five hundred Kelvin lights. So basically, if you add all that up and everything's correct, I'm about to put 30,000 lumens in my garage. And if I can't see after that, there's something wrong with me, I think. All right, so that's, that's what they look like, how they come packaged. These are the T8s. See what we got here. I'm gonna get them all set up and let me get everything set out and I'll uh, give y'all a little overview of what all I got. All right guys, so this is what you get. You get the six, four foot uh, LED lights. You get six of the connectors with the on off switch. You get five of these extensions. These here for hard wiring into your uh, your uh, light socket if, if you're changing out a lot like if i wanted to change that light right there completely out and take that out of here i could plug i can wire this into that light socket and it'd be operating on the, the switch on the wall over there and then you get mounting hardware which is the, the metal pieces right there and then this uh these plastic pieces are so that you can uh link these together you just plug one in right there and it plugs the other one in as well and that way you'll have a eight foot run of, of nothing but lights all right i'm gonna start uh getting these installed uh everything i've i see here don't look like it should be too terribly difficult at all and i'll say that i'll probably be out here until like one o'clock in the morning scratching my head figuring trying to figure something out but if i do i'll bring y'all along with me and whatever i find out i'll i'll let y'all know okay all right y'all hang tight we'll see uh See if we can't brighten it up in here a little bit. All right, guys, real quick, I wanted to show you from outside my garage. There's the uh, the before. Like I said, as you walk in, it's all really dark. All back in here, you can't really see anything. There's all my 
my tools I got hung up. That's gonna be a perfect representation, I guess. You can't even you can't even tell really what I got there. You, you're not anyway. Y'all see in just a minute here. I get everything hooked up and plugged up. We'll see how good it looks. All right. So y'all hang. All right, guys. So check it out. Uh, I got two of them hung already. Oh, I'm grabbing my, my drill. I'm standing on my bar, but uh, I'm gonna show you the simple and easy way to do this without falling. Hopefully. You got the little bracket and a screw that it comes with. And you just simply just screw it in. Uh, Now we got it screwed in. When you get the lights, at first I thought some of the, the plastic right around here was cracked, but it's not cracked. There's actually a really, really thin piece of plastic. Make sure you take that off. All I need is the dog to go crazy. My wife come out here and beat me up. That's all it takes. These here just snap in. Right now they're. Man, I'm gonna get that dog. That dog of mine, I swear, he just thinks he's just a BA. What do you want, Charlie? Come on. Nigga, go outside? Fine, man. Shut up. All right, but anyway, that's all it is to uh, install it or to get it hung up there. Yeah. And then you just hook the, the wires together. You connect these. Now, so the issue that the issue that I ran into is these cables aren't long enough to go from there to here. So what I done was I cut one of these and just just extended it. It's, I just cut one of these and extended it because it's not long enough to go from one side to the other. So it's not that hard. Um, where's my cutters at? All, right. All you gotta do is simply Cut those three. Now I'm out of uh, heat shrink and uh, electrical tape. So right now they're just wire nutted up there. I know that's not the safest way to do it. Um, tomorrow morning to the store and uh, get some more uh, heat shrink. And I'm now that I know it's all gonna work out just fine, I'm probably gonna, probably gonna solder the wires together and then heat shrink it all together. Just just to give that extra peace of mind. Just the type of person I am. Right. So now that you got that done. Don't be like me and not think about it and cut the wire so short that like that. I don't know what I was thinking, but uh, some people may argue that I wasn't thinking, and I would not argue back. Give yourself plenty. Do the same thing, rip, rip them apart. Give yourself plenty of room to work with. And strip these. Don't let the wires be, beat you, which I seem to be doing. All right, so my best advice is this. I make sure that the, they're facing the same way 
and then I'll make sure my wires because you got two white and a yellow I don't know why you wouldn't uh, mark them differently but I'm definitely not an electrician so do what you feel like you can do not what I do I just twist them together a little bit throw a wire nut on it now like I said tomorrow I'm going to run to the store and uh, get some more uh, heat shrink and then I'm going to take it all back apart solder the wires together and then put some heat shrink all over it and then I'm thinking about getting in the attic and uh, maybe moving these down just a little bit drilling a hole up and running the wires through the attic so you can't see them or I don't know if that's I'll have to check the local code and see if that's even if that's even an option if it ain't then you can get some wire hiders um, little plastic wire hiders and you can hang them up there and I plan on painting the garage here in a, here in a little while which I don't know why I decided to put all this up whenever I'm gonna paint it. I'm gonna take it all down. But anyway, um, whenever you paint, you can paint all of it the same color, like your wire hiders and everything. So I plan on leaving the top white. But anyway, let me get this plugged in. I don't think I should have to show y'all how to plug it in, but just as soon as I don't show it, somebody's gonna ask about it. Here we go. I hope y'all can see that. It just plugs in like that. And then over to the other side. Plugs in like that. There we go. Now this is only three. I'm gonna wait until uh, I get some heat shrink and some wire. Uh, or get the wires all soldered together, but I'm gonna show you what the three of them looks like first, okay? So here we go one, two, three. That's ridiculously bright. I may not need the other three. Remember earlier, you couldn't even tell what I had hanging on the wall? Bam, I ain't even got them all hanging up. That is crazy. There's no need for this anymore. Don't need that no more. Guys, you can see. That's crazy. I may order some more and just go go nuts in here. I may I don't I hope y'all could hear that. I forgot I had the the shotgun mic on. I hate to echo in here. But, uh like I said, that's only three lights. I may order some more and just go crazy in here if the wife don't kill me first. Uh still got three more to go. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to put those up tomorrow after I run to the hardware store and get some more connectors and stuff. Guys, I'm excited. This is this is more than enough light. This is, this is nuts. This is crazy. I'm, I'm, ex I'm super excited about it. I'm not going to tell y'all to run off, run out and buy these, but uh, simply because I don't know how well they're going to be long term. As of right now, with just the three, this is 15,000 15, lumens right now uh, at 6,500 Kelvin. I got, I got nothing bad to say about them right now. Uh, I'm going to get that all fixed up and then... Uh, get everything fixed up. I'll show y'all another uh, after that's all done. Man, there's a whole bunch of things I'm thinking. I could put this in the, the wood shop, put this on the back deck. I'm just super excited about it, guys. So uh, if you're looking for some lighting situations in your shop, I know a lot of us do a lot of work on our lawnmowers ourselves. Yes, these are awesome for that. So far, so far. Um, now tomorrow I may come out here and turn on the light and they all blow, but hopefully they don't do that. 
Um, they're great so far. They're good, bright. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for right now. Once I get these other three hooked up, I'll show you all another picture of that. I may just put it in the uh, community section of my uh, my YouTube page and uh, let y'all check it out there. But uh, as, for, as of right now, I'm fixing to work on my side-by-side, -side, do a few things with it. And uh, I may start another channel just dealing with the side-by-side. -side. Anyway, I'll let y'all know if I do that. Uh, y'all take care. Thank you for... Uh, Thank y'all for stopping by and watching. If it's your first time, I hit that subscribe button. I got a lot of other videos that I plan on doing, especially this winter. And uh, for all y'all that, that has subscribed, I really appreciate it, guys. All right, y'all take care.